Here's a natural forest, home to a large variety of plants and wildlife. Here we have a tree seedling, fallen from its mother not even 25 yards away. It'll take years for it to grow into full maturity. Here we have a plant that sprouts large, awesome leaves. They can eventually grow larger than the average human. A very rare sight. Here we have spring dryad mushrooms. Not to be confused with the winter dryad mushrooms, these are lighter in color. And they are growing on what will eventually become an epic log. On the ground we have what was once an epic log, but it has turned into mossy wood. It is covered with dirt and moss. All across the forest floor we have withered leaves. Once used as currency, they are now just a collectible junk item. There are billions of them scattered all on the forest floor. We have a small bare tree. It has sprouted no foliage next to its brother tree, which barely has any. They'll eventually die and rot, becoming food from the, for the others. And next to it, we have a natural tree. It has grown to a really large size and is full of foliage. It'll live for many years before it eventually falls and rots. We've stumbled into a thicket of autumn leaves. Some are brown, some are golden. Some are just dying. They are coupled with fresh leaves as well. They are vibrant green, healthy. They show no sign of withering and dying. branch. Probably rotting and falling. We have another naked branch. It is actually connected to a live tree. As you can see where it connects. And you can see where the other half is full of foliage. Here, braced upon this plant, we have some naturally curling swirly vines. Eventually they will grow and can be used or eaten. But for now they remain extremely small and unusable. We have a spooky, excuse me, scary branch found in the spooky forest. You can see it is spooky because it has many pointy ends and no leaves. Very frightening. Here's an island rock. Somehow it wandered its way into this forest. You can tell it is an island rock because it is covered in moss and it is wet, it is moist. Hopefully it will enjoy its new home in the forest. And here we have a cave rock. It also, like the island rock, grows moss 
but it is also a home for types of fungi and other types of plants, as you can see. Just a rock, a plain ordinary rock, yet many A1s collect them. They can be found anywhere, but we have found one in this naturally occurring forest biome. We have a vine. Unlike the swirly vine, it is mostly just straight. As you can see, it grows upwards using another plant to grow higher towards the sun. The clutter of withered and dead leaves. You can see a single fallen crow feather. Probably been here for two days. There's no crows around. Center of the forest, you can see a heavenly stone. Once silver, it has become bronzed from being unused hidden away from man. We stumbled upon a collection of a pile of rocks. As you can see, there's many groups of them, even buried in the leaves. They always come in groups, collectible by many, found in many biomes, but we have found them in this naturally occurring forest biome. They are scattered about far and wide, some covered with moss, some not. And among the ground we see a sprouting seedling. Unlike the normal tree seedling, this one is freshly sprouted. Probably not even a week old. We have grass. Rather uncommon in the forest. The ground is littered with withered and dead leaves. Mostly suffocating normal grass. But even here, it finds a way to sprout. We have what is called a pine cone bomb. Not much is known about it. There are no descriptions in anywhere, but here it is in the forest. outskirts of the forest towards the edge we have a bush that grows pink border flowers as you can see they are a little moist there are several blooms We spotted a natural hen wandering around the forest on a bed of dead leaves. It's walking around looking for prey. You can hear its subtle mating call. the outskirts of the forest we found a lima flower not many around they look close to sunflowers there's a tiny insect sucking the pollen out of it could it be
be a natural insect. It appears to be some type of mosquito. In a patch of plum trees on the outskirts of the forest, we can see a natural moth. See if we can get a close up before it flies away. Last stop in the forest, we see a rare black tree. All the way up to the solid black.